trick or treat. Trick. Here it is, three days before Halloween, 2011, and we're being greeted with a 12 inch nor'easter. A snowstorm for the rest of you. We're here at downtown Lemonster, Mass. And if everything sounds a little crinkly and muffled, that is because my bloggy is not waterproof and it's all covered up in tape, so hopefully none of the snow will get in the openings. Here's Main Street. Normally very, very busy. It's a ghost town. There's three cars. Literally three. This would be all the way to almost where you can't see anymore. Mechanic Street, it's a little dead. It's a little more than normal. We currently have three inches of the white crap on the ground. And we were waiting for this SUV to get going. So only a few inches have fallen and the roads already look like crap. Yeah, that built-in light ain't really helping. Alrighty. Now this isn't the nice white and fluffy stuff. This is the very heavy, wet stuff, as you can see here. And, uh... you can see over there, it's going to get pixelated. You can see the trees are weighed down heavily by the snow. So we could possibly have power failures. There's some more right in front of the wood block building. And every once in a while, there are wind gusts over 30 miles per hour. Potentially around midnight when the worst of this is going to hit, we could hit over 50. And I aimed to the side because somebody was about to get in the shot. I'm sure they didn't want to be in it. Pleasant Street's looking actually fairly normal. There's the subway. It's, it's so busy. The help is killing time by cleaning as you can probably see. And the city did initially clear the sidewalk here. It's covered again, but not by a whole lot. I think Sony Auto Focus is uh, deciding not to focus there. This is about half inch. Although when it's really cold and nasty, people want their hot pizza. Not a bad idea. And here's sort of an example of the wonderful clarity that is the pre-Halloween Nor'easter. Oh, how fun. I'm not getting too much wind down here because we got enough we got enough buildings that are breaking up the uh, breaking up the airflow. But where you get into a clearing, it's not fun. The snow hits you in the face and it hurts. Oh, look what's tomorrow. Halloween parade. I think they'll be able to get it done. In spite of this. And now we're going to go directly headwind into this storm. Through the mush we go. These have not been cleared. You can probably see the wind right there. Yeah, you can. If I can see it on my viewfinder, you definitely can see it. I'd say that was about like a 20 mile an hour gust. Couple inches. This has not been cleared.
This has been plowed somewhat. As you can see, here's another good example of the Het Webby's, or Het, if I can talk because I'm freezing, heavy, wet snow. This tree is pretty much bent over. And we're heading back to downtown, the immediate section. You're currently heading down West Street towards Mechanic. usually happens when a snowstorm comes early happens this year is that we get a long break the next major one doesn't happen for a long time and depending on who you listen to it depends on how bad the winter will be if you go by the La Nina pattern we're not supposed to get all that much snow and it's supposed to be warmer than normal but if you go by Farmer's Almanac and all them they say it's going to be a worse than average winter, which they say every single year, no matter what. That's how they get their accuracy. They just say the same thing and eventually it'll come true one year or another. And apparently my camera recognized this trash can as a person. Because this camera has that uh, auto face detect and the the lid on the uh, trash can was recognized as a human face. Here we are under Allen's department store. There's some more wonderful footage of the snow flying around, literally. flag somewhat blowing in the wind. Like I said, this is kind of a, it's kind of protected by the buildings, although it's a nor'easter, so this way is pretty much open. And once we get past this intersection, we're going to experience the real thing. Pardon the camera shaking, I'm switching hands. Switch again. And I can't move right now because of traffic. Here we go. And we'll end this video in this section because my hands are literally freezing and I cannot really feel much of anything in them. Fortunately, they're still flesh tone, albeit not by much. Oh, example of the heavy wet snow, this tree just fell right over. Yeah, the uh, stronger wind gusts plus the heavy snow on the trees equals possible damage. And here we are, there are the flags flapping away. And that's the end of this video because I'm about to, my fingers are freezing over. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.